What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a material parameter and then I'm gonna show you how to create an element visibility parameter. So if you remember last time, we have learned how to apply a material to our model. So if I'm gonna select the top portion here, so we created a subcategory for that and then we put that to top subcategory and then we also have our panels here and then we also have our panel so we have here the shelves okay and then we also have the door here as well as the glass uh, material if you remember that's the topic that we had last time so just a review you just go to the manage tab you go to material and then this is where I have created the different materials and then the appearances here, right? Okay, so this time I'm going to show you how to apply a material parameter to your geometry. So like for example, for this one, I want to apply a parameter here. So instead of seeing here a by category material, so I'm going to associate the parameter that I will be creating by selecting this button here. So if I'm going to select that, so currently I don't have yet the parameter that I would like to associate to this material for this geometry here for the door. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create a parameter. So to do that, so I'm going to select this uh, family types. Just click that one. And then after that, we are going to create edit parameter. So I'm going to select that. Oops, not edit. Sorry, it's create. <laughs> okay, so let's create a new one. So let's say this will going to be my door material. Okay, and then I'm going to select here the material so let's click material for that and then I want to put this parameter in my instance uh, parameter so instead of type so that I will be able to change the material of my door in every instance of this bookcase that I will be putting inside the project okay so I'm gonna put this parameter door material under the group materials and finishes so I'm gonna select here OK and then there's the parameter and then I'm going to select here OK there you go and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply that uh, parameter to my geometry so I'm going to select this geometry the door and then I'm going to associate that parameter by clicking this icon here and then selecting the door material. And then I will select here OK. And there you go. So you will notice that you will not be able to change this anymore because the material will now depend on the door material parameter here. Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this family. So let me save it first. Uh, family uh, I'll just put here door material so underscore uh, visibility so I think I need to upgrade my my laptop because you see there's uh, I think this one is a, a graphics error so you see so it's still there but anyway I'll just save this one first and there you go so after I save this the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new project where I will be loading this pro uh, this family so I'm going to create a new project so I'll just use an architectural template and then I'll select here okay okay so this is now my project one so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to my family here and then I'm going to load this inside my project one so load into project there you go so I'm going to place three of this so one two three and then I'll select here modify and I'm gonna change my view to the 3d view there you go and then okay I don't need these levels here so I'm gonna hide that category okay 
So as you can see, I have three instance of that um, bookcase here. So I'm going to select one of my bookcase. So I'm going to select that. And then you will now see here the door material that I have created. So I put that inside the instance parameter so I can change individually every instances. I did not put that inside the type properties, not inside the type properties, but in the instance properties. This is the instance properties. Okay, so let's say, for example, for this one, I'm going to select here um, material, this one, and then I'm going to select here the material that I have created. So these are the materials. So let's say I want the color of my, I want the color of my door to be like the top of the shelf here. Okay, so I'm going to select this and then I will click that button and then I will select here top. So click the top and then I'll just select here OK. And I'll just click outside and then you will now see that it's now that the same color, right? So as you can see, our parameter is working just fine. So I'm going to select this one. And then let's say for this door here, I want that to be colored as the shelves here. So I'm going to select that instance and then um, click that button. And then I will select your shelves. And then I'll select your OK. And then click outside. And there you go. So it's now the same. So let's say, for example, for the third instance, I want that to be as the color of my panels, the door. I want that to be colors of my panel here. Same color of my panel. So I'm going to select the instance, go to the material. Don't click this one. You don't need to click that. So you just need to click the ellipsis button and then you just need to select here the parameter. So let's say that we're going to be my uh, panels. Click that and then I'll select here OK. And then click outside. And there you go. Okay, so that's how you create your uh, material parameter, associate that in the geometry, and then after that, you change the material inside the project. So that's how you do it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, let's say, for example, uh, my client wants, uh, they want to have a bookcase without a door, okay? They want to have a bookcase without a door. So how to do that? So what we are going to do next is I'm going to show you how to create an element visibility parameter. Okay, so to do that, I will be going back again to my family here. And then I'm going to show you how to create a visibility parameter for my door here. Okay, so again, to start that, I'm going to select family types. And then let's create again a new one, new parameter. And then uh, I'm going to put the name here, door underscore, I oh know, with door. Okay, again, I'm going to put that in the instance parameter. And then this will going to be the type of parameter that will going to be yes, no, yes, no, group parameter under, I want that to put in the visibility group so click the group uh, the visibility groups and then select your okay and then select your okay so there you go so there's our parameters so i'm going to select your okay okay now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select the door here and then as you can see there's my visible so i'm going to select the associate family parameter here so let's click that and then we are going to associate that parameter that i have created so i'm going to select that and then okay and then same with my glass here so i will select that the visible let's select associate family parameter let's select with door and then i will select here okay okay so if you want to test out your family before that, let me go back again to family and types. So let's say, for example, for my 72 by 18 by 48, I want that to have a door. 
so I'll just leave it checked. Now, I'm going to change this to 36 by 12 by 36. So let's say I do not want to have a door for that. So I'm going to uncheck this. For my 60 by 18 by 60, I want to have a door. So that's why it's checked here. Okay, so that's how I want my family types. So I'm going to select here, apply, and then OK. Right. Now, for me to test out if the visibility parameter is working, I'm going to use this tool here, uh, Preview Visibility. So let's click that, and then let's turn it on. There you go. And then I'm going to select now my family types here to test out. So how about if I select here 72, I'll select apply, so it's working. So how about 36, select apply, so it's working. So there's no door there. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to load this inside the project. Okay, so let's load this inside the project. So let's select load into project and then let's override this override the existing version and its parameter values. Okay, so it seems nothing happens, but if I'm gonna select this and then change this to 60, of course we have a door there, and then this one, I want to change that to 36. And then you will now see here that, there you go. So our parameter is working. So if I'm going to select this, I can still modify that if I want that to have a door or not for the 72 by 18 by 48. So I can still uncheck that and then apply. See? So I just click the instance and then just select that and then apply. All right. So that's it. So basically, um, that's how you create your uh, material parameter and element visibility uh, parameter. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.